create with Ingrid. My name is Ingrid Blackburn, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do these smashed flowers. These have quickly become one of my most addictive things to make with scraps, and I just love adding them to a little mini album or a card. I think they're so cute, so precious, and rather easy to do. So what you're going to need is you'll need some sort of a punch or um, some sort of a sizzlet to cut the flower shape. I'm using our fancy flower punch from Stampin' Up. I take one of these pieces of scrap paper that I have, um, this uh, beautiful cherry cobbler, which has quickly become my favorite color in our collection. And I'm going to go ahead and punch two flowers out because that's what you need to make these flowers. We're going to take two that um, I'm going to turn into four. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do something that's called the faux suede technique. And that's basically crumpling up your paper like this to break up the fibers. You want to give it, you can also spray it, spritz it if you want with a little bit of water to make it a little easier. If you're doing a lot of them, you might want to do that. This is something that I can punch a ton of these out, sit and watch a movie. Um, if I'm doing a mass production of um, cards where I'm going to use these flowers. Uh, it's a great way, to, like I said, to use, utilize your scraps. Um, you just have that little tiny bit. Maybe you have some smaller punches that you want to make some smaller flowers. You can see that I basically gave it this really cool leather looking texture. And what I did was by breaking up the fibers, it gives me the opportunity to pull this piece of paper in half. This isn't going to look so cool if you're not using Stampin' Up! cardstock. Stampin' Up! cardstock is pretty awesome because it's colored all the way through. As you see here, you'd be surprised to find out that a lot of cardstocks aren't and they're going to be white on the inside. So you want to make sure you have some cardstock that's colored all the way through. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that apart and that gives it that really cool feathered kind of suede look. So one side kind of looks like leather and the other one kind of looks like suede. So there you go. It's called faux suede technique. A technique within a technique. Now we're going to need four of these. So you would do this to your other flower. I've already gone ahead and do that, done that to save some time. And then the other things that you're going to need to make these flowers are some of our multi-purpose glue and a pair of our paper snips. Love these. They're super sharp and they're great. You're going to cut one of these apart. It's going to make an angled cut here from um, one of the valleys here to the center. And you're going to do the same on the other. So you're separating two of the petals from three of the petals. So that's what it's going to look like. It's basically creating a little heart. And what we're going to do with this piece is we're then going to cut this in half as well. And we're going to discard one of these pieces. doesn't matter which one. Okay, so that's what we're going to use. Um, to make our flower. Now be careful, you don't want to use um, the slick looking side, which is the, um, I like to call it the leather side. You want to use more of the suede, the suede side, the soft and furry side. We're going to take some of our multi-purpose glue, and the first thing I'm going to do is actually the triple petal here. I'm going to take a little bit of this glue and just get that going. You might find that after a while, after not having used it for a while, you might need to put a paper piercer in there just to pierce that or um, use a needle. You don't want to put too much, as you can see, and we're going to bring one side over the other, and I like to hold it on the front so that that glue kind of squirts to the back, and that's going to hold that together. And you can see I'm not doing a very good job here, um, but there you go. So. I'm going to put that upside down and let that dry, like so. And I just kind of put it to the side. So I'll go ahead and put that to the side. And then with this piece, you're going to go ahead and roll it together. So I like to start with the rounded side. Make sure you have the fuzzy side up. It makes it a little easier because you'll start to get, after making a bunch of these, you'll have glue on your fingers. And you'll really pick a lot of this fuzziness up. So we're going to roll this like so you can see that, just kind of making a tube, just rolling that in on itself. And then I'm going to roll it from this side to this side. So rolling it completely in, and then once more, so that you're kind of giving it that really tight bud shape. And this is going to be the center of your flower. Okay. And then what I like to do um, after making a bunch of these and having them kind of unroll on me, I give it a good squeeze in one direction and a good squeeze in the other. And I find that that has a tendency to kind of hold its shape together, which is good. Okay, so now that we have that, we can go ahead and assemble 
the rest, and these are the pieces that you'll have. You'll have this kind of conical petal here that's going to become the center in which this piece is going to go in, and we're going to put those together as well. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to pop a little tiny bit of glue there, and this one we're going to put directly on top. Remember, all the fuzzy sides are up, like that. And then we're going to put another little dollop. You can see I'm not doing too much because otherwise it's just going to spread out and actually attach to too much of the paper. But you don't want to do too little because you don't want it to come apart. Now once I have that going in there, I can see how I have that. Then I'm going to go ahead and attach my cone here. And usually I've done quite a few of these at a time and I've let that dry a little bit. But for demonstration purposes... We'll just go ahead and kind of secure that down and add another little bit of glue here. And then we will just pop our center in there. And don't worry about the glue being white because it dries clear. So you're not going to really see a whole lot. And then you're just going to put that to the side to dry. Here's one that I did just a little while ago. You can see that it dries clear. A couple in other colors. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to smash it. So there's a couple ways you can do this. You can bring everything up like this and then work it, or you can do it a little bit at a time. There's really no right or wrong. Um, either way works. You just find something that, that you're comfortable with. So we'll start with it this way. And then once you kind of have that going up, I just kind of work them one at a time. I've done it where I've done them all at once and smashed it down. And it gives it a different look, and you'll just kind of have to see which way you like better. Um, it's actually a pretty quick process. I sat and I made 28 of these the other day, and I watched like a one-hour show on TV at the same time and just worked with a little lap desk. It was really easy, um, and it kind of, you know, made the time go by. I got to catch up on one of my favorite shows and make some flowers that I needed for a bunch of cards. So we're just going to have that, work those in. And then once you have that, you see I'm pulling these apart. Just pulling those apart there and just squeezing them in. And then you can also kind of smash them down at the same side, and that's why I call it a smashed flower. Um, they don't really come too, too much apart once you have its shape. You can kind of tweak it a little bit here and there. But you'll see that it's, it doesn't, it looks like a big mess right here, but once you just kind of just pull it apart a little bit, like this, just kind of smash it down a little. You could even turn it upside down and kind of go like that, um, which I find works really well too. It kind of gives it that really cool look. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to show you a couple in different colors. You can see some I was not as crimpy with, and some I was a little bit, I was quite crimpy with that. And you can see the difference, the difference in the flowers. Here I've added a couple leaves here. Here's one in beautiful with some different, different colors. And they really add a lot to a project. So, I mean, I find that, you know, they really, they really give it that nice flowery feel without adding too much to it. And here's one on a mini album. Of course, I've also done them using some different some different templates. This one I used our Floral Fusion Sizzlet, and I just used a couple of the different sizes to make the smashed flowers, and that's pretty much it. I hope you had fun. Enjoy smashing your flowers, and I uh, hope to see you again soon on Create with Ingrid. Have a great day.